Speaking that? of menage a trois, um, we haven't talked about the the cabin with uh, you, Bobby, and uh, and Bert. First oh yeah, off, what happened? That Who, you was sticking people in the ass. I heard. I didn't see the episode, Woo-hoo. so I didn't know. What happened? Woo. First off, that wasn't um, wasn't a menage a trois. Okay, but there were three of you. <laughs> it was three of us, but it was trois. three. It was okay. I'll put it like it this. It was a trois. I'll answer your question. It was three of us. It was two of us that was open for anything. It was one of us. That wasn't open going. for anything. <laughs> what does that mean? Like down for whatever? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I would like to cl- complete my thought. <laughs> you ask me a question, I'm answering. Oh, I know. There was out of the three people. When I say us, because you lumped it up as yeah. if I was down for everything, that was a part of the cabin. I wasn't. It was three of us. It was two of us that were down for whatever. It was one of us that was like not fuck with any of that. Okay, you. Pick who you think was down for whatever. <laughs> Burke Kreischer, <laughs> Burke Kreischer and Bobby Lee. First off, Burke Kreischer is an exhibitionist. I've talked to one of my friends. She said, no, Donnell, get ahead of me to call yourself a nudist. Burke Kreischer is a nudist. Mm. For the most part, his nakedness is usually from the waist up. Mm-hmm. But in the case of the cabin, it was from the waist down. And when I walked into this facility or this cabin, first thing I see is Burke Kreischer sitting on a bare skin rug. He resembles the physique of a bear already. <laughs> he sits on a barefoot, barefoot rug, and he's sitting there, and he's butt-ass naked. So and you saw his penis and everything? Um, <laughs> maybe let's do this like school. Save all your questions and answers to the end. <laughs> oh, Donnell. I'm articulating and explaining <laughs> to you how we could communicate better. Okay. This is something that you don't do in the show, and this is what I'm doing. I'm telling you, I'm explaining to you how I would like for you to communicate with me. Okay. Save your questions and concerns and answers to the end. All right, all right. So I walk in, and Bert is sitting on a bare skin rug. He's butt-ass naked. His hand is over his penis, or he's tucked in, but I do not remember seeing a dick. Okay? <laughs> but I do remember being alarmed and shocked, like, nigga, what did you get me into? <laughs> And only white people can be butt ass naked on a bare skin rug and have a smile on their face. A <laughs> smile of excitement, like, hey, how you doing? This is all normal. So I walk in there with, uh, I walk in, I run into Bert doing that. And then Bobby Lee is right behind me. And Bob- Bobby Lee is another naked nigga, AKA nudist. He doesn't have a problem with that. He has no insecurities. He's in touch with himself. He presents himself however he wants to. He don't give a fuck about what you think, right? And Bobby Lee sees Bert Kreischer naked, and he seizes the moment, and immediately, if you look at the video, right. once he saw Bert naked, he was shaken to get naked. Oh, my God. <laughs> like, it was like, oh, shit, I didn't know this was the spot. <laughs> so Bobby gets naked and scoots up inside of Bert being inside of a bear. So it's a fucking three rows of nakedness, right? And I'm like, what the fuck did you get me into? I didn't sign up to this. I signed up to a nature show where guys were gonna get together. They was gonna powwow, they was gonna fish, they was gonna bomb. Originally, Bill Burr was supposed to be on the episode. He couldn't do it, Bobby Lee showed up. I knew that nakedness would ensue a lot lot quicker than it would normally do. But it was one of those shows, like, I'm like, okay, Burr Kreischer, Bobby Lee, this whole brand, this frat boy brand of comedy, it's big. There's some people that like it. They're tuned into it. So I was like, am I going to be a spoiler? Yes. I'm not going to get naked. I'm not going to do that punk ass shit y'all doing, but I'm not going to hate on the party. Mm-hmm. So there was one scene, the opening scene, when <laughs> and fucking Bobby was so excited. Bert tried to push a coffee enema on me. Ah. Like, hey, down there. I'm like, nigga, black lives still matter. <laughs> black lives, black asses matter way more than black lives. Nobody penetrated me. The most penetration my ass has ever had was wiping my ass. That's it. That's the closest I'm I have I'm a be- question. You've never had a colonoscopy at your age? Yeah, but I didn't, you know what I'm saying? That's a whole different shit. It's cold. You know what I'm saying? It's cold, whatever. But it wasn't like I prepared for it. Mm-hmm. It wasn't like this, oh shit, maybe I'll like her or anything. It was just like this doctor shit. Mm-hmm. Bop, whatever. But it wasn't like the plan and the preparation that these guys do. Right. You know what I'm so saying? The coffee animal was for you? No, it was for whoever was down with it. 
I was the one that said I'm not down with it. It was proposed on there. Hey, we're gonna do. And they looked at me like, uh, like, what do you want to do? I'm like, nigga, I ain't doing none of that shit. So Bobby couldn't wait. Bobby, Susie, he rolled his sleeves up. Bobby had his sleeves up. He grabbed his shit. He had a smile on his face. He got the fucking tube, and he, sorry, people, he inserted. The joint, no, not only did he insert it, he didn't insert it, and he didn't insert it like, uh, he inserted it with a smile on his face, looking deep into his anal cavity. Jesus, did your dick recoil? Like, did it, like, now, nah, first off, <laughs> my dick wasn't part of this scene at all. There was nothing in that situation, like, yo, maybe my dick would have got hard if he would have put it in his ass, but my dick was like on. Like, I don't even like the fact that you asked me <laughs> about my dick. It was dick a medical bit. procedure. Nah, it wasn't a medical. It was something that I went down with, but I didn't want to be a party pooper. So while Bobby was penetrating uh. motherfucking, he was like, fap, fap, fap. He was penetrating his booty hole. I was reading directions off of it. I was like, I had to. And then I was in the comedy. I was like, okay, all right, we're going to do a counter. Five, four, three, two, one, fire in the hole. And exactly when I said fire in the hole, Bobby was like, just fap. Ooh. That was funny to them, mm -hmm. to a lot of people. I'm not knocking your brand of humor that you like. And as I did the entire show, I was like, it was a couple of times I was like, why the fuck am I here? <laughs> because they sold me on, they sold me on friendship, um, <laughs> manhood, brotherhood, yeah. like a connection. I was like, where is the connection? <laughs> I'm like, I don't know. This is not my ideal of a friendship. <laughs> This is perfectly, giving me a coffee enema would be the first number one way to ruin a friendship with me. <laughs> How much would the paycheck have to be for yeah. them to be like, is we're going to get naked on a bear? And there's never going to be a paycheck that could pay me to do that. No, nope. not even $400 million. Well, you know what? That's a that's that's, that, that's so unrealistic. Is it though? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. How much would it, how much would it take for you to, to, to fuck me? Um, $3,000. <laughs> yeah. Right. <laughs> Probably in my next lifetime. <laughs> See, you can't answer that question. You know what I'm saying? You didn't want to do it. I could have. You don't want to ask me that question? No, because I know. <laughs> I know white dudes don't give a fuck. No, but like, they I looking know, for their so future. I've never done anal. White Look. people are looking for their future. Like, wait a minute. One blowjob, that was $30 million. Money Listen, is. I've never done anal, but for the right amount of money, I probably would. That's, that's not the, the right question. Amount. That's not the question. Anal is an anima. All right, Javanta, that's not the question we asked. We, uh, take the, you, that's not the question we asked. The, and the, for the right amount of money. You wouldn't the, do an enema on television. What? That's no. what he asked. Isn't that no, what you asked? No, there's not enough. There's yeah. no. That's the question. There's so no that amount. Was the question. Of, there's no amount of money that I would do that for. There's no amount of money, and I I know people like hypothetically. There's no amount of money that could. That's a man that's comfortable with his money situation right now. Mm -hmm. That's what that is. No, you it's know? not that. Nigga. I I roast some motherfuckers. Right. You you're that's mean. Ammunition. You're a mean queen. Meme queen. You're a mean king. You know. I do not need the <laughs> enema memes taunting me <laughs> for the rest of my fucking life. But at the same time, it comes to a point where money isn't it doesn't matter. What what like I'm going to feel comfortable spending ass enema money? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Aren't like you're going to need one eventually? Huh? Enema, that's aren't okay. you going to need it? At some point people do that to cleanse their colon and everything. At some point you will, but it's not going to be on live TV and it's not going to be a part of the show. Mm -hmm. And now going back to answer your question about my involvement with the show, it was sold to me a certain way and I'm not hating on the show. The show turned out to be a good show on Netflix. It 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 it, it went to the point where it was like trending six like an all any show on Netflix in the United, in, in in the United States. Right? But the thing that I connected with the show on was show was there's a point where we're all in the kitchen and we're cooking food and we're talking about fatherhood. We're talking about how we grew up and me and Bert took it to us being fathers. And it was a it was a part of the show where it got deep. I can hear that. It got deep. Um, it got deep. It was thought provoking and it showed a side of all three of us, for the most part, I don't think there was ever on television. So as I'm uh, assessing the situation of me being on that show, I'm like, why the fuck am I here? That said, you know what? That's why I was here, to talk about fatherhood. It's time to roll with the Donald Roll Show. Roll show. Uh. Donald Roll Show. Nickel.